Restricted access barrier systems, RABs, and isolators are both used in pharmaceutical manufacturing environments to provide controlled environments for aseptic operations. However, they differ in design, operation, and application. Restricted access barrier systems, RABs. Design and structure. Semi-closed system. It's a barrier system with glove ports, where operators can interact with the environment inside the RABs, but the system can be opened in case of interventions. The air inside RABs is often HEPA filtered, providing a grade A environment, with the surrounding area usually being grade B it's often integrated into a clean room, allowing for direct interaction with minimal intervention. Interventions. Though interventions are minimized, they are possible when necessary by opening the system, although this may require a shutdown or aseptic procedures to prevent contamination. Greater reliance on operational procedures to maintain sterility during interventions. Decontamination. Decontamination is done using manual or automated cleaning and sanitization, typically through the use of sprays and surface wipe downs. Decontamination times are usually shorter compared to isolators. Risk of contamination. Higher risk of contamination compared to isolators due to the potential for human interventions and the need to open the system during operations. Applications. Typically used in processes where occasional interventions are necessary or where the cost and complexity of isolators may not be justified. Common in filling lines for sterile products. Cost. Generally, less expensive to install and maintain compared to isolators due to simpler designs and less rigorous environmental control. Isolators. Design and structure. Fully closed system. Isolators provide a completely sealed environment where the operator cannot physically enter the system. The operators interact with the internal environment through glove ports or mechanical devices. Isolators maintain a continuous overpressure, positive or negative, depending on the application, and can be used to maintain a grade A environment, often placed in a lower grade area, such as grade C or D. Interventions. Interventions are highly restricted, access is entirely through glove ports, and if a breach occurs, a full decontamination cycle is needed to restore sterility. Isolators rely more on technology than human intervention, reducing the risk of contamination. Decontamination. They are decontaminated through a vaporized hydrogen peroxide (VHP) system or other automated decontamination systems, which thoroughly sterilize the internal environment. The cycle times for decontamination are longer compared to RABs, but the effectiveness is generally superior. Risk of contamination. Lower risk of contamination as they are completely closed systems with minimal human intervention, ensuring higher sterility assurance. Applications. Used where the highest level of sterility is required, often in critical processes like aseptic filling, sterility testing, or handling highly potent materials. More expensive due to the advanced technology involved, strict environmental control, and the need for a robust decontamination system. In general, isolators offer a higher degree of sterility assurance but come with higher complexity and cost, while RABs provide a flexible option for controlled aseptic processing with a lower cost but higher risk of contamination.